This is an introduction and overview to the DHIS2 web app to load organizational units, uh, facility information, site information from a interlinked registry. Um, we begin with a blank database. We go to organization units. You'll see that there is no current organizational units loaded, um, but what we would like to do is to pull them in from the interlinked registry. We're going to be doing that using the interlinked registry um, interface. It's a DHIS2 web app. Um, before we do that, we have to set up um, one thing in the data administration page. Uh, we need to set an attribute on the organization unit to hold the global um, ID for the, uh, the facility or site. Um, so we create a new attribute called entity ID. Um, we assign it to the organization unit. It's a text type. We add it. Now once we've done that, we can use the interlinked registry interface. Um, and what this does is it looks at the interlinked registry. Uh, what's going on behind the scenes is that there is a transparent proxy using Nginx to route um, any requests um, to, to this, the hosts of the DHIS2 machine for the interlinked registry um, and so that we can avoid cross-site security uh, exceptions. You can see that it's already reached out to the interlink registry, and there's a number of various documents that we can try loading um, on the interlink registry. We're going to select the Sierra Leone demo metadata um, as our base registry, and once we've done that, you can see in our org unit hierarchy that we have Sierra Leone. Um, this dropdown will sh select or show one level of the hierarchy at a time. Um, and it lets you traverse um, down the hierarchy and to select a part of the, the org unit hierarchy that you want. So let's say we've selected Sierra Leone, that dropdown gets updated, and we can see that we have um, the various districts in Sierra Leone. So let's say we're working um, in an area that we only need one of the districts, so we select that district, Porto Loco. Um, once we've done that, we can now load the selected organization units into DHIS2. We click that button um, and it will do the loading in the background. Now, if we come to our organization units now, we can see that we now have Sierra Leone as an organization unit. Look at this uh, organization unit. You can see the entity ID. This is the what was loaded from the interlinked registry. Um, and we have the name, the short name. By default, all of the opening dates are going to be set to um, December 31st of uh, 1969, so that will need to be adjusted um, if that information is required. Um, and if we look at the hierarchy, uh, we can see that we have loaded the full hierarchy for Port Loco um, within Sierra Leone, but none of the other information. Uh, if we decide later on that we want to go back and add in more of the, the hierarchy, we can go back to our web app. We again select um, our Sierra Leone demo metadata document and we can select a different part of the hierarchy. Um, and let's say we we're only wanting to report on Mugbo. Um, load this in and it will, once we go back to organization units, Now we can see that we have loaded 
both all of the port loco information as well as Lugbu, um, which is with under the Bo district, but we haven't loaded anything else um, under Bo, just the Lugbu that we've selected. 